I love how that mask goes with your sweater. <laughs> That's the new normal now. <laughs> All right, we're back. And today we're going to talk about um, potato pancakes for my friend Ed Dusick out there. And I'm going to show you three different versions of potato pancakes. Uh, one of them is traditional potato pancakes, um, shredded potatoes, onion, flour, and egg. The other is an Irish potato pancake. It's called Boxty, and that is with mashed potatoes and shredded potato, onion, and a couple other ingredients, milk for one. Um, and then the third one I'm going to do is a sweet potato uh, potato cake, um, and I'm going to do a cool little technique with that one. But as I was making the mashed potatoes for the Irish ones, I just realized I probably should have done a demo on mashed potatoes because I can't tell you over the years how many people called us in the restaurant and said, oh, I can't make mashed potatoes. My mashed potatoes failed. Why are my mashed potatoes so awful? Um, so I'm just going to talk about what some tips on mashed potatoes because I think that might help a lot of people out. First of all, the type of potato that you choose is really important. You don't want to use the baking potatoes unless, of course, those are the only potatoes that you can get. Um, you want to use a, a chef's potato, a Yukon Gold, or a red potato. The next thing you want to do is make sure that when you peel it and cut it up into um, relatively, I'd say two inch cubes, small cubes, make sure that there's enough water in the pan to cover it by at least one to two inches and then bring it to a boil. Third, make sure your potatoes are cooked all the way through before you drain them. A lot of lumps come from potatoes not being completely cooked all the way. All right, so you've cooked your potatoes all the way, you've drained them. The next thing everybody does is they throw the butter in the hot potatoes because they think that that's gonna melt it. No, that's not how you do it. You put the milk and the butter on the stove and you get it hot and you add hot milk and melted butter to the mashed potatoes. And then the third thing you wanna do is get a really good masher. Um, unless you can whip it with a KitchenAid or one of those hand beaters, but be careful with that because if you overbeat it, you're gonna create too much starch and that's another gloppy potato. So lumpy potatoes, gloppy potatoes. I hope those tips that I gave you are going to prevent that. And then also don't forget to season it. The other problem with potatoes is they don't taste like anything. So make sure that you get enough seasoning in there. So that being said, I made mashed potatoes for this one um, potato pancake recipe. And then I made this bacon, I don't know if you can get that down there, bacon mashed potato pizza out of um, a donut dough that I made yesterday that was an absolute fail. So I didn't bring you that, but it worked out better as a pizza crust than it did as a donut, crust, donut dough. All right, so, oh yeah, those are the macaroons from yesterday that we made with the egg whites when we did the hollandaise. So that's what those came out. They didn't get finished baking in the oven before the show was over, so. All right, so I went ahead and I peeled the potatoes um, for you ahead of time. I'm gonna make each recipe with just one potato, just for, you know, showmanship. I don't really need to have that many potato pancakes. So I'm gonna make mine in the Cuisinart with a blade attachment, but you could certainly grate your potatoes by hand. The thing about potatoes is once you peel them, they oxidize, so they have to be in this water, okay? But we want them to be relatively dry for potato pancakes. So the first one I'm gonna make and show you is just uh, regular straight up potato pancakes. So they just go here. Instant shredded potatoes, okay. Uh, the next thing that I usually do is I put the onion right in here as well. So about a quarter of an onion. This is going to be the recipe that's going to be on the YouTube channel. Y'all get the recipes over there. Um, pop over there and you get all of them. Everything. All right, so shredded potato, shredded onion. And I'm going to take that out of here. Um, and what I want to do is I want to squeeze the moisture out of it. These aren't as wet because they weren't chef's potatoes or they're baking potatoes, but we're going to make it work. So you could do this over another bowl if you want, but you can see the moisture that came out of them. We don't want that in the potato pancakes. All right, now to this one potato and one quarter onion, I'm gonna add a half an egg. I know that's weird, but I broke this recipe down. So half an egg, uh, salt and pepper, two tablespoons of flour, a little granulated garlic, And to this one, I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of baking powder, okay, in this recipe. And I also have these chives from out in the garden, so I'm going to put those in there as baking well. Baking powder, baking soda, same thing. No, it's not the same thing. And the <laughs> baking soda is going to be in the next recipe. So, all right, so mix this up. Um, ideally, I would be mixing this by hand, but you can just go slower and 
Mix it. And did I put salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. Always salt and pepper. I don't think I did because I don't see it. Okay. So I'm going to get this one mixed and then I'm just going to put it over to the side here because we're going to pan fry these next. But I want to make the other recipe too so that we could do both of these at the same time and then we'll go over to the sweet potato one. You basically want to make sure that all the potato gets coated with the egg and the flour because that's what's going to hold it together in the pan. All right now once you've shredded these you have to make them. You can't, there's nothing you can do. You have to make these otherwise that's going to turn black. So we're just going to put together the second one and then we're going to go make all of these. So come on, hello, get on there. Real quick. One potato in this recipe. This is gonna be the Irish boxty potatoes. Instant shred, and then the quarter onion. Instant shred. Okay, now this one's a little bit weird because this one has the mashed potatoes too. So in here is uh, flour and baking soda. You're gonna get all the recipes over um, on our YouTube channel, and I'm squeezing the moisture out of the potatoes. I'm gonna put them in here. And then this gets half a cup of milk and half an egg, because that's how I broke the recipe down for you. And this is the one half a cup of mashed potatoes. So this one has part mashed potatoes and part regular potatoes. And I'm also gonna do salt and pepper and these chives. They are still growing wild out in the backyard, which is great. They really, I think bacon would be really good in here too, and then it would be kind of like the, the. There's another way to make potato cakes too. You can make them with already mashed, just plain mashed potato, and that's a good way to put bacon and mashed potato together to make a potato pancake. Um, and you can see this one is a little thicker of a batter, so this one gets fried in butter. So I'm gonna put that one on the in butter over here, and this other one that we made gets fried in oil. So you just kind of plop these guys in here and that oil was on preheating so it's hot oil. You don't just put it in cold oil, nothing will happen. And then you have to look at it. If it's too hot, you're going to have to turn it down. You want them to brown, but you need them to cook at the same time or you're eating raw potatoes which are nasty. Okay, so we'll put those go. And then over here, make sure this butter is hot. No, that's not hot enough. Hold the top. See my friend Sherry Gantner, Gant, Gantner's watching. Just want to give a shout out to Sherry and her dad Marty, who's uh, Marty's on. fighting the battle. We love Marty. Former Rainbow Gardens employee. No delivery guy ever like Marty. <laughs> they broke the mold. So let's deliver Marty some thoughts and prayers down there at Yale. All right, so these guys, as you can see, even going into the pan, how different they are. The oil should be a little, the butter should be a little hotter. But we don't have the luxury of time. How ironic is that? We don't have the luxury of time when all we have right now is time. All right, so these guys are a little bit different. With the mashed potato and the flour and the milk. Irish boxy, all right? That's what those are called. Um, so these guys, when they're ready, how brave is this? Two pans are going at the same time. Gemini, uh, you, you want them to get a nice golden on the bottom. I'm gonna take up the heat a little bit on this. And I'm gonna watch the heat on this, because butter has a different cooking temperature than oil, but they're not ready because they're stuck. La, 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 la. Talk amongst yourselves. Now you could do these in a pan and flip them, and then if you don't feel like they're cooked enough, you could put them into a 350 degree oven. You could cook them this far ahead of time, and then you could reheat them later today for dinner. Um, you could cook these and have them for breakfast tomorrow with Irish bangers. John got some bangers at the depot the other day. They're delicious little sausages, if you don't know what that is. Irish bangers and mash, traditional breakfast over there in Ireland. All right, I'm going to give this guy a whirl here. There you go. Wow, they're so different. 
It's more like a, I, know, I guess a pancake, the potato pancakes. Potato pancakes. Now these could get served at the end with applesauce or sour cream in those scallions. We're probably, tonight we're probably going to do um, scallions and sour cream because I don't think we have applesauce or apples. Alright. These guys got to cook a little bit more. These guys got to cook a little bit more. But I don't want to get held up over here. I'm gonna keep it moving. All right, you can watch those out of the corner of your eye, <laughs> and you can just turn them, just turn them off when you think they're done. All right, I'm gonna go over to the sweet potato, and I did peel this ahead of time because it's it's not really good to put sweet potatoes in water; they um, lose their starch content. So I have this one lonely sweet potato. I'm gonna peel it. I didn't want to peel it ahead of time because they oxidize really fast. All right, this one's going to be a little, I don't know, are sweet potatoes lower in carbs than regular potatoes? Someone said they were, but I always feel like if I'm eating a sweet potato, it's better than a regular white starch potato. So I'm going to do this one for my friends who are watching their carbs. All right, so I got all the skin off of that, and then I have this cool little zoodle machine. I'm going to, hopefully, maybe I need to get a flat surface here. Hopefully get some... Some sweet potato noodles. New fail. It's not a professional product. This is a, that's the problem here. Should have done it ahead of time. No problem. Working. Oh, live television. Maybe they were supposed to go into this thing. There we go. Let's get this started. Wow, um, what's the name of this product? I don't know. I've done this with... It is the... I've done this with... Zucchini. Briefton's Five Blade Spiralizer. I've done it with zucchini and yellow squash. And it comes out really great. This sweet potato is just a little bit... Let's go now. Right? Anyone coming out there? <laughs> you anyway, guys must all be cracking up right now. Watch the professional use a household product. <sighs> Terrible. All right, you get the point. So these guys are going to go in here. And to these guys, I'm going to put the other half of my egg that I had. Salt and pepper, of course. I'm going to put a little cinnamon because I think cinnamon always goes with sweet potatoes. And in this one, instead of regular flour, I'm going to put almond flour. So people that aren't eating flour, here's another option for that. And those chives. Let's see if we can get a few more of these guys down here. We're going to have to borrow one of these pans back here. Probably the one on the left. Let's see how we make out with this. I'm just going to move these guys over with his neighbor. You're going to do a much better job of this at home, but I am going to probably put those in the I think I'm going to toss these all into the oven, right in this pan, because my oven's on. Because we're cooking something special today. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Let's mix these guys up with two spoons. Let's see what we got here. What if you don't have a uh, that spiralizer? spiralizer? Shred them. Shred the sweet potato. Just a regular same, box same, grater. Or the Cuisinart. Do the same thing, you know. You can make either any of these recipes with sweet potato rather than potatoes. I just wanted to mess around with that tool, which might be going to goodwill. <laughs> Alright, so let's take these guys out and see how fun these guys are going to be in here. This might 
be a good way to get kids to eat sweet potatoes too. Cinnamon smells good on these. Potato pancakes on a dreary day. All right, I'm gonna keep cooking these. Um, Tuesday is Tuesday topic. My topic today is art. And um, I'm gonna have you just go around and sh here, show this one. This is my bread, getting ready for tonight. This place is Artfish42 in Devon. Check them out on um, Facebook. She is doing live craft demos. The other day I tuned in and they were making string art. I didn't stick around for the whole presentation, but I think she does them like two, three times a week, but she announces them on her Facebook page, like today for this weekend. Um, I'm, I really, I'm sorry to say I'm not sure who she is. I don't know her name. I know that uh, the Chamber of Commerce was highlighting her the other day. And when I went over there, she was um, doing some art uh, on Facebook Live. So if you're looking for some crafts or something to do, try uh, Artfish42 in Devon. And John is going to highlight a restaurant for you today. All right. I got actually two. Two for one. Um, Joey C's. Joey C's Roadhouse in uh, Milford and the Boathouse down in Stratford. The Boathouse is down uh, on the Dock Shopping Center and the uh, Roadhouse on the Post Road over by the uh, police station. Doing curbside. I know they, Joey and Anna, can't wait to get the uh, restaurant open down at the uh, harbor, and uh, it's a great place to have outdoor uh, outdoor dining. Um, Hardworking family, and uh, they're doing curbside right now, and they're doing delivery, free delivery with a thirty dollar order. Um, so, um, you know, Tuesday, I think uh, I think they have taco uh, taco night tonight down there. So. Give them a shot. And back to you, Heather. All right, so I'm just uh, going to flip these sweet potato pancakes here. i got one of them nice and brown there. The rest of them still need a little bit more time, but you can see how fun that one is there. Um, I'm probably going to finish these guys in the oven, too, just because, like I said, my oven is on. What we did today was we took um, a pork butt, and we rubbed it with pork spice rub, our secret blends, not really secret, it's just a bunch of spices and sugar, and I put it out in my gas grill, and on the half where I put the pork butt, which is like this big, I didn't turn the gas on, and on the other half, I just turned one burner on, and we put uh, some pieces of cedar wood and a couple charcoal briquettes and a pie plate, and we got that to smoke out there for about an hour, and then I brought it in and put it in the oven. We're going to cook it low and slow for uh, six hours till about dinner time tonight, and we're going to have it with these sweet potato pancakes, and I made some bread, so we got some sliders working here, um, and that's going to be dinner for everybody here tonight. If you have any questions, like how to make mashed potatoes, uh, hit me up in the comments. You can certainly hop over to our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe to our videos. And tomorrow I'm going to do a couple things with rhubarb and who knows what else. But that's all I got for you today until we eat again. Thank you.